Welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Elix. In this episode, we're still attempting to do the same thing we were in the last episode, only hopefully it works slightly better. A um, little bit of dying last time around. Maybe just one. I don't know. One or two deaths, I think. And, yeah, it wasn't ideal. Obviously, we, we try not to die. But that didn't exactly happen. Unfortunately, death did ensue. And it was my death. But there was also a lot of murder. Like, I killed a whole bunch of stuff. So while, yes, I may have died, I died doing something. Which isn't always the case. So, I can I can take that. Alright, we're back in the place to rest. We'll just sleep till midday. I'm sure we haven't made it to midday yet. Alright. Let's get back out here and get stuff handled. It seems like there's trolls and reavers and mutants and mollocks and who knows what else just stopping us. Every step of the way. We're really close, if not already at the next level. I, I'm actually surprised or shocked to see that, well, not see that we hit the next level. So either I totally missed it, which is possible, or we're still, yeah, oh yeah, we leveled. We compl I completely missed it. We do have 20 attribute points. I, I still don't know what I want to do yet with the attribute points. So right now we're in a kind of a weird, I almost want to say limbo. I don't know that that's necessarily an accurate statement. Oh, good. I landed that. Look out. Oh, there's one that's much closer. Oh, hello. Alright, well, I'm going to deal with the one that's actually up here right now. You're an armored locust. Hoping that we can kill you. But I have my doubts. Oh. Well, I was able to avoid the other armored locust. Definitely wants to kill me and Paul. Can you hang in there long enough, Falk, that I can defeat this one? The answer is yes, he can. It's my boy, Falk. Stepping up your game just slightly. Oop. It's okay. You know what armor doesn't do well against? Chainsaws. Or chain swords, as it were. Ah, good job, Falk. Your cannon fodder um, slash meat shield technique worked very well this time around, I must admit. Where's, where's the other bug that I killed? Oh, it slid down the hill slightly. All right. Yeah, it worked out. You did well. Your, your method of fighting is improving for me. Basically, you just get hit and eventually die and I look like a superhero which is exactly how I should look being the main protagonist of this story oh these are empty so that makes me feel like I've been here before and yet this does not look all that familiar to me all right rat we're going down too we have less than two levels to go, folks, and then we will finally become a paladin, a paladin, and we will be able to do whatever we want, whenever we want, to whomever we want, wherever we want. I don't, I don't know. It's going to be good, guys and gals. It's going to be good. That's all I can say. Oh, that's not going to be good, though. I fought one of you before. It did not go well. Yeah, you definitely hurt. Ow. <laughs> I don't want to die. I mean, I'm fine doing the slow burn here. But it's going to require a bit of help from you, Paul. You're definitely going to have to do something. Okay. Nope. See, that's the problem that I always run into with these things. 
me a little bit of space. Oh god! Oh! Eh. Eh. Oh! He almost got me there. This does not bode well. Oh. Weapon. Eh. Tight quarters. Not really the play. I actually sort of wish I didn't have my my shield out that time. Could have gone so much better. That went well again. I'm attacking. I'm coming. I'm coming, Paul. Live, buddy. Oh, last second dodge, like a boss. Oh my gosh. The area here is rather worrisome. <sighs> yeah. 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 You think? You think it's rather worrisome? I feel like you're not wrong there, buddy. I feel like maybe you hit the nail right on the head there. Oh, goody. Maybe lizards. Ah! Alright, Falk seems to have uh, attracted some of the enemy there. In fact, he even defeated that guy. Now, if I can just defeat you before... I attract everything else in the entire region. You're pretty happy about that? Oh my gosh, this is such a nasty place. I've run through here before. I'm fairly certain I've been in this area. Maybe not to this specific spot. But definitely in the general vicinity. And I may even have been to this specific spot and ran away like a scared little girl. As I think everyone would agree, it's kind of fitting. Not a, not a nice place. Ugh. Oh. At least there's toy dinosaurs around. I mean, that kind of makes up for the horrible... No, it doesn't. There it is. All right, Falk. Give me millions of experience for this. About these components you need. Yes. I have the Garidian. An amazing element, isn't it? Another gift from the comet. Indeed. Gift? Like Elex, Garidium wasn't found here before the comet struck. Now these elements help drive our technology forward. Cool. Are you pleased that the comet hit? How do you know Elix and Garidium weren't here before the... Yeah. How do you know Elix and Garidium weren't here before the comet? I have studied history and old technology. There are no traces of either element in the records or in the old world machines huh. we salvage. Interesting. It was the clerics who first began using Elix. While it is interesting to consider what the world might have been, the true value of knowledge is in what it will help us become. Indeed. What do you think of Elix? Elex is a resource. It is only what we do with it that should be judged morally, not the substance itself. I suppose that's fair. Well, I think you should have the full set of components, man. I think you should have the full set of the components you were searching for. I agree. We should deliver them. I found these on our journey. You can put them to whatever use you see fit. Sweet. Do you want the location? That's it. Are you ready to deliver the components? Uh, yeah, let's find your legate. Yes. Let's find your legget. Good. Here are the coordinates. These oh, components yes. are important. We should deliver them quickly. Falk is now a true friend, ladies well and gentlemen. Done. He no longer idolizes me. We are now kind of soulmates. It's, it's a little weird. It's a little strange. But let's see if he's like a super combat maniac now. Also, guys and gals, keep in mind that Falk specifically said he was not 100% geared toward combat. So it is possible that... That others, oh gosh, that others are definitely going to be a better choice I am right behind you. for uh, combat things. Come on. Yeah.
Yeah, I figured that was gonna be your go-to attack. You're just like the Skexes. A little bit of time to get some energy back. And you're dead. Alright. So simple and easy, sweet, sweet, nice style. And I had to say we're I think we're already close to twenty-four. Well, at least we gotta be halfway. Halfway. No, not even. Alright. Well I, I know it's gonna scale up as we go, so. I was being hopeful. I thought maybe with the kills that we got plus the bonus from the quest that we just did, maybe it would be just enough. Apparently not. Alright, Falk, that was the one time that you failed me there, but well, one of many times that you failed me there. But your attack that time was actually less useful than if you hadn't attacked at all. How close are we to the actual comet? We're not that close, but... Hmm. Well, we gathered all the components. We got about, what, 2,000 experience for doing so. We came out to this horrible, horrible area of just monsters... Nastiness, atrocity, trolls, you name it, there's been bad Juju Magumbo going down everywhere. But eh, it was it was it was actually quite good. It was actually fairly decent, I have to say. Oh. Okay. I was like, what in the heck just jumped out of the ground? I don't know what it is, but I'm jumping out of the way. Eh, eh. And dodge the gang, well done. I know there's a tree directly above me, but as long as I stay out of your range, I'm okay with the tree being directly above me. Gold nugget, a backpack with eh, more random stuff. We have enough to make some more food and potions and things too, which is kind of nice. Fuel, fuel, energy cells. Not a tremendous amount of plasma cells, I'm noticing. There seem to be a lot of other types of ammo, but not the ones that I have, right? I mean, I do have an energy weapon, but it's not a very good one. Which sucks, you know, obviously you want the best equipment. Uh, the plasma weapon's amazing, but ammo's a bit more scarce. Well, this seems oddly serene. I've been here before, haven't I? This seems very familiar, like there should be a bunch of mutants running around this place. That's my guess. So that there's like a whole a whole whack of mutants, I guess. I'm well, about to find out. It's a rot board, it's kinda of mutated, I guess. Well I mean if I want me to kill rats, I can kill rats. Two, three, four, stab, jump away before you die to the boar. Good job, Falk. You just followed that right up, man. That's well done. I thought there were rats on either side. For us to be here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure existing in this time and in this place, no matter where you're at, really, is pretty pretty risky. I got a soup. A small elix drink. Good. We just run into stuff randomly. So I know I'm stockpiling some stats right now. And while that's probably not the best overall plan, it might work out okay. Well, this definitely looks like there should be some sort of... Uh oh some sort of thing for us here. Oh, he is just focused on bulk. Oh, he died focused on bulk. Oh gosh, what just happened? Did you see that? That was crazy. What happened to him? I mean, I know they're mutants, but... He went all like wiggly tentacle arm there. He, I think he was starting to summon Cthulhu, or if Cthulhu was coming in off of that guy. I don't know. That was that was. <gasps> what the heck is that? Sorry, I wasn't expecting a giant gun-looking thing on top of the whatever that is. That's a 
the tower, maybe? Why can't I use this? This definitely seems like something I'd want to use and should be able to use. Why can't there be like a, a mutant mini game where you have to like fire the gun and shoot back the mutants and stop them from approaching? I mean, I'd fail at it. You guys have seen my amazing marksman skills. They are legendary, but for all the wrong reasons. Well, there's a lot of sleeping bags and stuff here, so that's kind of good, I, I guess. Oh, we upset something. Let's go meet whatever it is. Eventually. We'll get there. But first, we have more stuff to destroy or find or something. Is that some electronic scrap? Yeah, it is. There's just so much random stuff in this place. Hey! Oh, no. What you do? Oh. So what you doing down there, Falk? Answer? Leaping to the top. That looks like a potion. There we go. It's a mighty healing potion. Well, our constitution will be going up soon, and once it does, that's going to mean our health is going up. And once our health goes up, that means we're going to be able to take a few more hits. If we can take a few more hits. I, I, I'd say we're nigh on unkillable, but that's not true. Like, I'd like to think that, and it'd be nice, and in theory, that's fantastic, but that's all it really is, is a theory. We are most assuredly not unkillable. But well, we're doing okay. Alright, running, running, running. We're running over here. Oh, looks like we cleared out Mutant Fort. That's weird that they'd actually have like a fortified place like this. I assume they overran the original occupants. That's the only thing that really makes sense. But I suppose... Let's just do that weird bunny hat thing that we do. I suppose there's also a possibility that somewhere there's probably a way inside this place. Hey, buddy. Actually, somehow I got hurt doing that. You want to play? Yep, that's that's about right. Please stop doing that. I'm not a big fan of rot boards to begin with, but when they start spitting, uh oh, <laughs> start spitting at me for bull nanigan type reasons, I'm an extra big not fan of them. Wait, that one's like, that one's like wired up with stuff. Look at that. That's not normal, right? Wow, that really sucked. That was just an unfortunate series of events. I did not enjoy that at all. I'm like, aha, we'll fight you head on, and then he spits on me, almost knocks me off the bridge. Because of course he did. This is a dangerous area. Yeah, I know. You mentioned this already. Trust me, I am well aware. Ooh, what's over there? Oh, that's a bit more dangerous than I was going to give it credit for. All right, we should probably deal with those things before we leave this place. And I was about to go run across the top of this thing and just be all like, yeah, but now, now I'm not so sure. All right, I think we're going to go try and fight those things, but we're going to do it from a better angle than just jumping straight down. See, this one has a ladder. Ah, uh, I have food. I can always jump back up here. Come here, little doggy thing. Over 
Oh, I upset the wrong one. Well, please land your attack. Alright, the mutant bug looks very unhappy. I don't blame him. He is kind of getting absolutely annihilated right now. And now he's inside the building. I don't think that's a thing that's supposed to happen. Oh! He died inside the building. That's probably not great. Well, I knocked him through a wall. I mean, that's that's a thing that happened. And I can't loot him now, so that's not great. But, whatever. There's a bladed mace over here. I guess that's a thing, maybe. I don't... I don't know. Why do you have to fall through the wall? We actually did well there. And there's never anything good in unlocked chests. So who would have actually gone there to loot that? I mean, like, let's be honest. There's not a whole lot of people that would have survived that nonsense. Hmm. And there's no way we can see him inside the wall. Not. Well, I'm going to take your fine dining spoon. This is mine now. It's my dining spoon. And your electronic scrap. And then I'm going to leap over here. I really hope I land on that. Oh, thank goodness. That would have gone very poorly for me if I had missed. Alright, that's cool. Let's come up over here. Some more easy treasure looting. I am going to figure out where where um, Falk's benefactor is right now, too. So we have, like, direction once again. Random access memory. Okay, I'll mark that on the map. Is it near Ignodon? I'm assuming I'm wrong. Oh, really? He's in the... Oh... Oh, is he from... Is it going to be one of those people down underneath that are trapped? Well... When in Rome... Do as the Romanians do, I, I guess. Wouldn't it be when in Romania do as the Romanians do? Don't question my sayings. Those tomatoes? They are. I've been here before. Yeah, I've been here before. Alright, so we're gonna go, I guess, back and turn this in. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little surprised that there doesn't seem to be any extra waypoint there. I mean, it's, it's fine, but bit strange. Alright, we're gonna go to the Duke's bunker. And we're gonna turn in this quest to whatever the random dude is, and hopefully it's not the crazy guy. With Kur Kurl, or whatever his name is. The Colonel. Oh, he's like right over here. Which means he's underground, which means I gotta figure out how to get back underground. I do not remember how to do that. Is it down this thing? That's the bomb. I think I can still fall in here. And this leads me to the place, right? Yeah. Oh, it is a crazy guy. Oh, no. Oh, look who's here. I've completed my work and brought you the pieces you require. As I knew you would. Oh, boy. Have I completed my task? Yes, Falk. Your work on this task is complete. Falk, it's It's time I told you something, um, something, something important. I am ready to hear Kalan's words. I oh. thought you were traveling by order of a legate. Now it's Kalan's I was. words. I will hear Kalan's words. 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 Uh, words. What is wrong with him? Isn't he a wonderful creature? He is my greatest invention, the pride of creation. 
You created him? Uh, of course. He's my masterpiece. And with the components you've brought me, I will finish his upgrades. <gasps> what upgrades? I will install these parts and make him better than before. Yes. So, he's a robot. Oh, much more than that. I am thankful to you for bringing him back. He has obviously chosen you as his companion. A friend. He gets more human every day. Of course, that is part of his programming. Wait here, and I will finish up with my work. Well, I didn't see that coming, so... Cool. Falk. Initializing. Is he alright? You are beginning a new stage of evolution now. Go with your new friend. Learn about yourself. Your new routines should help you access the data that tells you what you are. Take good care of him, won't you? Is he like, is like he's Super Saiyan Falk now? Like, is he like really, really, really strong and upgraded and powerful? Or am I going to be underwhelmed? Hmm. About Falk. About Falk. Why did you build him? Why did you build him? Isn't it obvious? In a war, we need an army that doubles our fighting strength, but without the human cost. I mean, we have weapons, fighting machines, bots, but we still need a human presence. Yeah. We place those humans with a machine, a machine that thinks like you and me, hmm? and we can have war without casualties. Interesting. We can secure Magellan for the future without the loss of lives. Uh... Falk is more than a robot. He's a person. That's my design in action. I used synaptic mapping to build his basic reactions and personality. I, I, it's all uploaded. Creepy. It's fully adaptable, though. I, 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 I can upgrade any element of his training, and anything he learns can be uploaded and sent out in a new body. Interesting. He can transfer to a new body. Really? His settings can. His experiences can. Then one soldier can teach the other. See? It's much better to lose circuits than flesh and blood. I the guess. The to test him to destruction. The finished production model comes next. I'll refine that based on what Falk learns. Tested to destruction? Is that not the definition of human life? Born, collect experience, tested to destruction. Excellent. Uh, okay. How are you feeling, man? How are you feeling? My systems appear to be functioning correctly. I feel strong oh you didn't know that you're a machine no i was aware of discrepancies in my behavior emotions for instance i don't experience them as others do but i had observed that many people suffer from such issues though i do wonder if my reaction to this revelation is lacking in emotion or feeling something i must learn probably a good idea you sound like an elb well, what do you think about your Creator. A real cleric would be more y used to me than a machine. Uh, you sound like an alb. You sound like an alb. That isn't accurate. No. Albs suppress their emotions. Oh, I wish to well, explore mine. They are losing theirs. I am developing mine. I hope I will function well. I cannot see how this revelation should impair me. On the contrary, I think being more informed should improve my capabilities. That's fair. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. Okay, so maybe we have Super Falk now. I I don't I don't know. I also I have no idea where I should go from here. We've done some some stuff. Some things have happened, and it's been a little bit weird. Uh, we gotta wait on Rat so we can do that one. Grenade delivery is still there. The mechanical guard he wants me to steal something. Let's check out Ignadon. Hands off. Uh. Duty. Find new recruits. Oh, I already finished that. So what I actually okay, I'm all over. It. I know what's going down. Um, companions for a handful of shards. As soon as he thinks of anything new, heads must roll. A half defective. Tin can. We're going to do that one. In the next episode, we're going to do that one. But let's see where that takes us. That takes us pretty far out of our current reaches. So what we're going to do is go to the converter in South Abessa. And then we're going to call the episode there.
I hope you guys enjoyed up to this point. We're we're doing okay. We're getting there. Uh, interesting thing with Falk there. I wasn't really expecting that, but that was cool. I'm really hoping he's like a lot better now, because that would be fantastic. There's a creature over there I'd like to try to fight, but we'll have to save that for the next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Yeah.